it's been quite some time since I've done a day in the life so I thought I'd pick up the camera today and take you along with me and do a little um, updating and make a special announcement. I want to do the special announcement first and that is again this year I am planning to send out Christmas cards to any of you who want to receive one. Now if you received one from me last year I will just assume you want one again unless you let me know otherwise. Um, otherwise also if your address has changed from last year please let me know that as well. I've gotten quite a few new subscribers lately. If you would like to receive a Christmas card from me just um, message me in the uh, description, not, not description box, the comment section below and then email me and I'll put my email address on the screen here with your address so that your address isn't out there in the public. Um, but yes, anyone who wants to receive a card from me, I will send you one and I would love to receive a card back from you as well. So that's my announcement. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about was I already received one card and some friend mail from one of you and I just wanted to uh, say thank you and show you what she sent me. Um, it's Kim from Schnauzer Mom. She has a really terrific channel here on YouTube and she has seven schnauzers so she's very brave i thought it was hard work having three dachshunds and uh, she's got seven schnauzers and um i have a puppy i have a one doxy puppy one or one doxy and one beagle puppy and i am worn out and i've got olivia here that does most of the work with with ollie so i don't know how kim does it but she sent me a little package which is so sweet um, it came yesterday and I already opened it up, but I wanted to show you. I'm going to cover up part of her card because I don't know if she wants everybody to see her kids and her, her name. But if you know Kim from Schnauzer Mom, there she is, and that's her husband. She also has two kitties. And there are her seven Schnauzers. <laughs> They are very good dogs and very well behaved. But let me show you what she sent me. First thing is this adorable, and sorry for the glare, we have a very sunny day today, and I just don't have a good spot in the house uh, for the lighting. But she sent me this adorable ceramic owl. It is so cute and very wintry, and I know exactly where I'm gonna put it, and I will show you that one in a minute. And then the other thing she sent, in one of my Decorate With Me videos for Christmas, I think it was the one when I did my tree downstairs, I mentioned that now that we have a beagle, I need to start getting some beagle ornaments for the tree because I have several doxy ornaments. And she must have been watching that video because look what she sent me so cute. I got my first beagle ornament and I showed it to Ollie and let him sniff it and he was disinterested. <laughs> it wasn't food so he didn't care. So let me first of all take you over and um, show you where I'm going to put the owl. There's one little uh, corner in my kitchen that I haven't yet decorated. I wasn't sure what I was going to do in that little corner and now I do know exactly what I want to do and then I'll take you downstairs and we'll put that ornament on the tree and I wanted to thank Kim again that is so thoughtful um, I just I just love all of my subscribers and friends that I have made um, through YouTube and I really appreciate that Kim it is so sweet of you so let's let's get this owl in its home <laughs> So this is my little corner shelf that I have up in my kitchen by my kitchen window and it's still decorated how it was that I had it for summer, spring, summer and fall. So I want to change it over. I got some uh, Christmassy foliage that I want to put in there and I'm going to put this little bow on it and then I'm going to put the owl, I'm going to take this picture down and I'm going to set the owl right there.
that looks absolutely perfect there, that owl, because he's white with my white milk glass vases, and then the silver in his, on his scarf and his feet. This ties in with the lamb's ear, and it's just perfect. I'm down here, um, down in my family room downstairs. This is my tree. And let's find a good spot for this eagle ornament. I'm thinking we'll move this cardinal. Put him right there. Maybe over one. He's kind of heavy. He's a kind of a heavy little little guy. Perfect. I am going to get this put in the crock pot for dinner tonight. I'm going to fry up some sausage, which it's defrosting in the microwave right now. I don't know if you can hear the microwave going. And I'm going to go ahead and get this going in the crock pot. It's basically, what is in this? Barley, split peas, and, and turtle beans, which I don't never heard of those. Romano beans, lentils brown and red lentils. So it's mainly split peas, barley, and lentils with a few other little beans in it. So I'm going to get this in the crock pot. Before I can do that, I have to get this counter cleaned off again. <laughs> this is like the catch-all zone in my house. prism crystal things off of Amazon. If I remember, I will put a link to them in the description box below if you want to get some. And I have two of them hanging in my kitchen window. And on a sunny day, I get rainbows all over my house, especially my kitchen. Sometimes it'll even go into the living room. That is so cool. I love it. I picked up this chopper. It's by Kun Rakan. Picked this up at work a couple weeks ago, and this is the first time I've gotten it out to try it. Um, I'm going to use it to chop up the onion for this soup. So it's pretty easy. You just put the blade in, and then I've got this partial onion. I'm just going to cut this in half because it's kind of a big chunk. I'll go ahead and cut it in four pieces. Put it in there. And then you put the lid on, and it's got this pull thing. That was six pulls. Wow, that's about perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in with the sausage. You can hear it sizzling on the stove and fry this in with the sausage.
as you saw, I put four or three cans of beef broth in one of those cans, then I filled with water. So three cans of beef broth, one can of water, and I'm gonna go ahead and just get some more water and top this off, uh, make it a little bit more, because uh, my family really likes this kind of soup. So there I added four more cups of water. Now my crock pot is on high. I'm gonna put a lid on this and just let it do its thing all day long. So we just got back from the Dollar General, just a couple miles from our house, and um, I wanted to see if they had like the toiletry type items, like the deodorant, shampoo, toothpaste, that kind of stuff that I would normally get at Walmart, um, like the same, the, even if it wasn't the same brand, but similar. And I was so pleased. They had the exact brands that I buy and the, the it was comparable in price. So anyway, I'm really happy. There's one more, one more store that I can use instead of Walmart. So anyway, let me sh uh, turn the camera on and I'll do a little Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General haul for you. I picked up another roll of gift wrap. I think I probably have enough gift wrap now. I just, you know, I don't want to run out and I got to start wrapping gifts here pretty soon. Uh, I got two bottles of this sparkling white grape juice. On Christmas morning, we have this white grape juice mixed with orange juice. Um, I don't prefer the orange juice. I just have it without, but the kids, um, Travis and Olivia really like it with the orange juice added. This is the kind of shampoo that Scott really likes. And I thought I picked up two bottles of it. I didn't realize till I got home that I got the conditioner. And Scott doesn't use conditioner, but I do. So I'll, I'll go ahead and use it, it won't go to waste. Um, this is the kind of deodorant that Travis likes. He likes the Axe and they had that. They had Suave, which is the kind of deodorant that Olivia likes. So we got that for her. Um, this is like a cheaper version of Sensodyne, which is what I use. So I thought I would give this a try. This was like three bucks and it's like $7 a tube at Walmart for the actual Sensodyne brand. So I'm hoping it's um, comparable. This is the kind of toothpaste that Scott uses. They have that. Um, I was completely out of hand sanitizing wipes in my purse. And so I got two packs of those. They were only a dollar a piece. I got some more liquid soap to refill our soap dispenser. These are the little red sinus pills that we always use whenever we have congestion. And it's a little, you know, tiny bit different shape of tablet, but same exact um, active ingredient. So happy to see that. And they finally got some of the mini lights in white. I like to stock up on these during Christmas time because uh, I use them all year round. So I got two with the green um, cords, or actually three. Three of the 50s with the green cords. They didn't have any with the white, which I'll need to try to find those. And then they had the 20s mini lights. They did have those in white. So I got one white and one green. And I'll go back probably once once a week or so and get more of these so that I can stock up on them and have them all year long. Um, I got some stocking stuffers. Uh, I got this for Olivia. She doesn't know and she's in the room, so I'm not going to describe it, but you can see that there. Turn it over in case she comes in here. I got some tape for wrapping presents. Olivia wanted a Coke. So I got her that. Um, these are Travis's stocking stuffers, and I think Travis is done. Olivia needs a little couple more candy items, and I'm gonna get Scott one more bag of jerky, but otherwise, Travis is done with his stocking. Got him some of these Pirolina cookies, some sweet and salty trail mix. He loves cashews. I think he likes almonds too. So I got him a cashew and almond, and then a full cashew salt and pepper. And then I got him some candy. 
he loves Three Musketeers. I got one of those. And then they had three different kinds of Twix. He loves Twix. So I don't think he's had the white chocolate kind. I got him those. I got him the regular. And then I don't think he's ever had this kind, the cookies and cream. So, so that's for Travis's stocking. For Scott's stocking, I got him some chocolate covered peanuts, some bridge mix, some sweet and spicy trail mix, a can of mixed nuts with pistachios, and some ink pens. I picked up some mailing envelopes. I've got some packages that I'm going to be sending out here real soon, so I picked up some of those. And then I picked up some Christmas foliage. They were only a dollar per pick, and I thought they were that was a really good price. I got some more of these uh, red berries that look flocked. I couldn't decide between this like eucalyptus looking or this really sparkly. I wanted to put it with the red berries. Maybe I'll put all three together. I don't know. Depends on the depends on where I decide to put them. But I couldn't decide which I liked better, so I ended up just getting both. And then I got these little clip picks with the little white birds. I thought those were really cute. I got two of those. And then the last thing I picked up was a package of these glazed honey buns for Olivia. Then Olivia did a little bit of shopping too and she said I could share her haul here. She really fell in love with this little wooden house and it lights up. Let me see if I can get it to turn on here. There you go. It lights up and it changes color. And it was only three bucks. So she picked that up. She's been really liking chapstick that's tinted. So she got this one, Merlot. And then she picked up some of these. These do not have any milk in them. She's going to give me a little bit so I can try it. I love pistachios. Dark chocolate and pistachio. And she ended up getting two of them. All right, that is our little Dollar General haul. This is what Olivia ended up doing with that little wooden house. She took some watercolor paint and painted the roof and some of the trimming and then she added some festive lights and other little things to make it look like a little winter scene on her dresser. She is so creative. I really like what she did with it. As part of this video I would give a little bit of an Ollie update it's been a while since I uh, talked about him in any kind of detail um, he will be six months old tomorrow and he is doing great um, I would say he's probably 
90% housebroken. He hasn't had an accident in the house in a really long time, but we don't really give him, him an opportunity to have an accident in the house. Um, as you saw earlier in this video, he has started using the dog door, which is kind of a <laughs> good news, bad news situation because we're glad that he knows to use that door to go outside, but we still don't trust him that when he goes outside, he's not getting into mischief or, you know, beagles are known for being escape artists and I don't want him to have spend a lot of time outside unsupervised so that he, you know, either climbs the fence or digs under the fence. So we don't like him going out unattended yet. We also hung a bell on the door. Um, it's specifically for a dog, for to use for a dog, and he does sometimes ring the bell because we will keep the dog door shut. We keep it shut so that he can't just go out and come back in. You know, he hasn't actually ever come back in the dog door. He just goes out. Um, so we don't want him going out without us knowing. So we keep the dog door shut most of the time. Um, and when the doggy door is shut and he does need to go outside to go potty, he will go and sometimes, I would say maybe 50% of the time, he will ring the bell to let us know that he needs to go out. Um, our biggest issue right now is training him to ring the bell only when he needs to go outside to go potty and not just to go outside and play because he loves to go out and run around the yard and chew up sticks and eat feathers and you know he just puts everything in his mouth so a lot of times he'll fake us out and he'll go to the door and ring the bell and then he goes out and just plays and doesn't do his business so we are in the process of trying to train him that the bell is only for when he needs to go to the bathroom um, in my uh, first when I first introduced him to you I said that he was incredibly skitterish and scared of everything and he just got scared of every little noise every little thing he is much better at that with that he doesn't startle nearly as easily as he did before now he still is jumpy um, but he's not nearly the way he was before I think part of it is the fact that he had just never been in a house before and all of the strangeness and newness of being in a family um, but he's definitely um, settled down in that way I think he's always going to be more of a timid scared dog he's not super aggressive he's going to be more like a beta dog not an alpha which is that's fine with me I we don't need an alpha dog around here so he's doing really good with that um, he did have worms that's one of the reasons why he was so skinny when we first got him um, I won't go into any detail but I ended up finding evidence that he had worms uh, so we took a stool sample to the vet and they gave him some medicine and ever since then he's put on weight and he's doing much better uh, with his bowel habits and stuff um, he is supposed to get a second dose of that medicine, I think in a week. Um, things are really messed up at our vet right now with, the, with appointments and everything. So I'm going to have to call them and see. So they're not allowing people to come in to the vet anymore. So I'm going to have to call them and see if they'll bring me the medicine out to the car. So, But he does need a second dose of that. Um, because of everything that's going on at the vet, we had to postpone his first vet's appointment so tentatively it is now pushed out back to February and so we're hoping everything is back to a more of a semblance of uh, normal by then and so we can actually go in with him to see the vet so anyway so that's that uh, what else with with him oh he knows to learned he's learned some obedience he uh, knows what sit means we are working on stay um, he, we tell him to sit and stay and he will stay for maybe 30 seconds but as soon as you're out of his sight he comes to find you. We want to teach him to sit and stay and not get up till we tell him he can get up even if he can't see us. Um, 
he started to bark at things, which he didn't bark for a couple of weeks. The first couple of weeks that we had him, he didn't bark at all. Now he's barking and he's got that definite hound dog <laughs> baying bark. Um, he's decided that Olivia is his special person. He is connected to her hip all the time. I think it's because she's the one that's home with him all the time and his crate is in her bedroom because we didn't have anywhere else in the house where we could fit his crate. So his crate's in her bedroom so that's where he sleeps at night and yeah. And as I showed in one of my other videos, he has learned very quickly and successfully how to jump up on the furniture. And so <laughs> we just let him, it's like, you know, pick your battles. That's one battle we just didn't want to pick. We didn't want to fight, it was keeping the dogs off the furniture. <laughs> it's not like we have expensive furniture. Ah, I think that's, that's it. I think that's all we have, or I have, um, for updates on Ollie. He's doing great. We love him so much already and he's a wonderful addition to the family. And this is how that bean soup turned out. It was very delicious and so easy to make. Um, yeah, I just love crock pot soups especially. Thank you so much for spending the day with me today, friends. Um, it was a great day. I hope you had a great day. Um, don't forget, if you want to receive a Christmas card from me, to uh, let me know in the comment section below and to send me your uh, address at doxymamasheryl at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.